Good morning, guys. You okay? <laughs> yes, Top we're really good, thank you. Um, you're sitting there, I can see you now. Um, you've got your, your uh, Everton training top on, massive smile on your face. You look really well. I imagine you had a great summer. Um, just sum up how you're feeling now you've made the move. Oh, I'm, I'm over the moon. I'm over the moon. I'm incredibly proud. Incredibly proud, incredibly lucky, if I'm being honest with you, that I've been able to come to the football club. It's been a bit of a mad week, if I'm being honest. It's been a bit like a whirlwind because kind of obviously heard about the interest and different things and wanted to try and get it done. But now that I'm here, the first couple of days have been fantastic. The boys are brilliant. The gaff is top drawer. And I think it's been something where I've loved every minute of it up to now. And listen, we're working towards the weekend and we can't wait for it. Connor, brilliant, mate. You're, as always, it's magic to talk to you. You're full of enthusiasm. It's brilliant. Was it a tough decision to make? Because from what we're hearing and what I'm reading, it didn't seem to be a too tough a decision. Obviously, the rumours about Wolves maybe going to a four at the back now, didn't play at the weekend. You had a conversation with Frank. It all seemed pretty straightforward, mate. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, mate. It was something where pre-season's been tougher. It's been something where the last five, six weeks have been tough because for... Five, six years at Wolves, I've been someone who's played every minute. I've I've made sure I've been fit. I've made sure I've been ready. And that's been the same in pre-season. Then I think as footballers, you know yourself, you get a little bit of a vibe of yeah. something's coming here, something's not right. It's yeah. kind of, I was feeling things in training. And listen, I love that football club. I love it as much as I've done for the, for the last seven years. It's an incredible football club, a special football club. But I could feel things. I could feel something happening. And a lot of people have mentioned that I wanted to go because of the World Cup and different things. It's not necessarily just because of that. I'm 29 and I want to be playing football every single minute of my life. That that never, ever changes with me. So whether it was to do with England or the World Cup year or not, I would still want to play football. Yep. So to get this opportunity to speak to the manager at Everton was, was a bit surreal, if I'm being honest with you, on the phone. It was a little bit goosebumpy because... I was just sat on the phone thinking, I'm speaking to Frank Lampard here. This is, this is a little bit unbelievable. This is a little bit surreal, honestly. That was what it was like. And I was listening to how he was speaking to me. And I think one of the greatest English players of all time is on the phone to me here telling me what he wants to do with Everton Football Club. It was really, really surreal. But like I said, I, I was feeling things. And it doesn't matter whether it's a World Cup year or not. It was about playing football. And I just want to do that. I don't want to be sat on the bench. And I obviously got the feeling of it on Saturday against Leeds. And I didn't like it. I'll yeah. be honest with you, mate. I helped the boys as much as I possibly could. And... I was there and I was talking. I was trying to do my best and do what I always do. But I didn't like it. So to finally get this done, like I said, it's a real proud moment for me. It's an incredible feeling. I'm really lucky to get this this, this moment as well. Yeah, Connor, um, obviously you've been Mr Wolves for um, seven seasons, you know, top player for, for the football club. And when I heard the news, I was a bit like, I had to read twice, to be honest, mate. I thought you'd be one that retired at Wolves, you know, loved by the fans play every game you know last season you played 38 Premier League games was it a case of like you just said you had a feeling that you weren't going to play as much this season and as much as you said about the World Cup it is important for you guys isn't it because look at Tyrone Mings now he could be in a situation where he might look to move somewhere else to get a chance to get into that World Cup squad because he doesn't come around um, very often does it a chance to play at the World Cup yeah, and, and and you know what, Gab, it's, it's obviously a big thing for, for every English player. I think yeah. every English player who sat on here now would tell you the same thing. <clears throat> I think they'll come on and say, it's massive, it's something you want to be a part of, and, and that's right. But I think you take care of it by taking care of the presence and making sure you're right for mm-hmm. the club you're playing for, making sure you're fit, making sure you're ready, and making sure you're playing well. And that's the only way you've got about it. And, yeah. and, and listen, like I said, mate, the last few weeks have been tough for me because I was getting the feeling that things weren't right, things weren't the same at Wolves, and... As I mentioned, it's a special club filled with incredibly special people. And it's been something where it was a tough decision. It really was. But I got that feeling. I'm 29 years of age and I want to be playing football. I want to be helping a football club. And lucky enough, I'm helping this football club now. But I want to help it as much as I possibly can. I want to help the supporters and make people proud. And that yeah. doesn't change. But I need to be playing to be doing that. 100%. So like I said, to get, to get this opportunity, mate, I feel really, really lucky and privileged do, to get it, yeah. Do you like the way that like it happened as well, Connor? There was no bad blood. It's just a, 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 a transfer that like Wolves have allowed you to, to make. You know, some transfers, there can be you know, problems in the club and stuff. But this one looks like it's been a clean transfer for you. Yeah, and, I, and I'm really appreciative to Wolves for that because yeah. they've been fantastic with me. Listen, I've spoke to them there every step of the way and as I mentioned, it's a, it's a special club filled, filled with special people and it's been something where they've always come and spoke to me about what was going on in terms of this week and obviously the interest from Everton and kind of, I told them that this was the only place I wanted to be, if I'm being honest with you, because I wanted to be a part of it. I know how big the football club is from, from growing up. I know how big it is and I know how big it is to the people of the city as well. So this was kind of where I wanted to be and 
like I said, the, the transfer itself has been great, but I'm very appreciative to Wolves for helping with that and then also very lucky and privileged to be in the position I'm in now. Connor, tell me, you, you spoke about, you obviously know the, the city, you know the importance of the, the club to the people around, uh, in the city, Everton supporters in particular. How have, uh, how, for example, have your family members <laughs> taken to the move? And more importantly, what about that character at the wind-up, man? I did, I did have a smile on my face at that wind-up, it was brilliant. <laughs> Honestly, mate, he's a nuisance, in it because you know as well, like, you can't even go back at him because he's that intelligent about football. He'll always come back with something else and then you're in trouble then. You know it was good. So I know what he's like now, mate. The minute I try and come back, he goes back again on you because he's that intelligent with football. But he's a, he's a nuisance. I'll be honest with you, mate. Majority of my family and a lot of my family are blues as well. My uncle Johnny used to come to every, every Wolves game. He's a massive blue, so for him it's a proud moment. Brilliant. When he comes to play at Goodison in a couple of weeks' time, I think I'll know half the crowd because all my mates are blues. They've all got season ticket holders. It, it's just, it, it's an incredible feeling for everybody. And, and like I said, everybody's just so proud. I think part of my family, I think, mm. to come to a club in this city to come and play forever, yeah. I think is, is absolutely incredible, mate. And like I said, it's a proud day for me. It's a proud moment. And something where I want to come and just help the football club and help my teammates as much as possible. I've got some inside information and a, a question that someone has asked to pass on to you. Um, ask him if he's going to drive himself to training now. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Are you stitching me up here? Are you stitching me up here? This is, this is just some inside information that I've got. I've, had, Lord, you're better than this, I've you know. been told. You're better than this. Listen, I'm an investigative journalist when I want to be. <laughs> I've, been, I've been told Lord, he used to get a driver to training. Really doing this on breakfast radio. It's not good enough. Yes, I am. Is that a yes? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm not doing for a ten-minute commute. <laughs> um, just going back on your family and everyone that's uh, that's going to be your one of your kids trains at Everton already, doesn't he? So there's there's a, a lovely link for the family there as well. And obviously, um, one of your uncles being um, a big fan, you can see completely while you've done it. And it's um, it's a smart move, but it's, it's sometimes as well these kind of moves are difficult because clubs sometimes want to keep hold of you, don't they? Because even if they don't necessarily want to start you week in and week out, they see the value and they and they see that they need um, bigger squads. So to get this done and to get it done in, in time for the season, like you say, it must have been an absolute whirlwind. But um, congratulations to your agent as well. <laughs> he's, he's, really, he's really sorted you out there. Um, and it's going to be a really exciting move. I can, I can imagine how... Um, you can see this as a, a great step for you. I think a lot of the, the fans, especially the Everton fans, are going to be really interested in, in how this is going to look and, and what you can bring to that team with Tarkowski, for example. They've got a couple of injuries out at the moment, but yeah. that, is that a, a partnership that you're quite reveling in getting involved in? Yeah, and I think first and foremost, I think it was good to see the lads get injured on the weekend. Mm. I think Ben and Big Yeri, I think they've been massive players for this football club. And to see them get injured the way they did and obviously out for a little while. I think it's, it's horrible to see with any injuries, if I'm being honest with you. So, But to come in, I'll be honest, the lads have been absolutely outstanding with me. They've been fantastic. It's a great group of lads. It's a real good changing room to go into. And Big Tark, he's a fantastic footballer. I played against him for the last few years at Burnley. We've had a conversation about how we used to hate going to Burnley with Wolves. I'll be honest with you, because <laughs> yeah. of the way they made it. It was a real, real tough place to go. And it was funny we were having a conversation the other day about how much Burnley kind of hated us as well. So there was a little bit of, a, <laughs> little bit of banter there, if I'm being honest with you as well. But... Uh, no, listen, they're, they're, they're a fantastic group of lads. They're, they're a group of lads who've really welcomed, not just me, but I think all the new signings into the dressing room really, really well. And I think there's a real focus here on what we want to do and wanting to improve. The managers obviously spoke about it already, but it's important we all follow him, go behind him, and, and make sure we follow up with everything he's doing within training to try and learn from him as much as possible. Connor, your first game is against Aston Villa and at Villa Park, and I know you like playing there, scoring there. Yeah. Are you going to be registered in time or registered on Monday, maybe? No, no, I'm, I'm all ready to go, mate. I'm, 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 I'm changed. I can't believe you called them that a goal, by the way. You need it and tickles off the line. You know what I mean? But uh, you, take, you, you take anything, don't you? But uh, yeah, I can't wait for it. I can't wait for it. Listen, like, like I said, I'm here, to, I'm here to help the football club as much as I can, to help my teammates, to help everybody around, yeah. just to, to try and improve, mate. So it's a massive game for us. I'll be honest, it's a massive game. Any game going to Villa Park is, is huge and... I'm sure I'll get a lovely reaction when I go there as well. So that's good. Yeah, definitely. Um, Connor, we wish you the best of luck and looking forward to seeing you playing out there. Uh, Villa Park this weekend against Aston Villa. What a game that's going to be. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Very best. Very Thank best. you for having me. Have a great morning. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very too, much. Connor Cody there on TalkSport Breakfast just made his move to Everton. 
Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.